The current law disallows people from camping in all public spaces nearby critical infrastructure. But if this new amendment passes, it could potentially ban people from camping on all public property. Camisa Bell has been living in downtown Sacramento for a week after being moved by law enforcement officials four times over the past year. Oh man, the transition is something else. You lose a lot of stuff. Bell says it's been hard to find resources with all the moving around. And she's concerned about what might happen to her if the Sacramento Board of Supervisors moves forward with this proposal. Well, so now what, 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 what do we do? When is enough pain for this community enough? When are we going to focus on the real solutions? Nikki Jones is the director at Sacramento Regional Coalition to End Homelessness and says this amendment would be very hurtful for the unhoused. It is a forced displacement policy um, and will lead to, you know, unspeakable and really unquantifiable pain and trauma. The Sacramento County Board of Supervisors think that this is a viable solution. Hopefully, we are having a conversation that encourages people to take advantage of services being offered. County business reps are also on board with the new proposals. We applaud the streamlined approach of this ordinance to create consistency throughout the county and bring into alignment with recent state and federal direction. And while Sheriff Mike Ziegler doesn't think the proposal will change their operations much, he notes that their current budget will be impacted by new recruits. That luxury of having that budget is shrinking. A Board of Supervisor representative tells us that the November 5th agenda is not yet finalized, but they can confirm that this specific item will be on the agenda. In Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Juliet Smith, Fox 40 News.